Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to target audiences in your Facebook ads. You can target audiences in Facebook with a dozen different ad formats and thousands of possible ads targeting parameters. Mastering your Facebook targeting strategy gets you in front of very specific and often motivated segments of your audience. On the network where Americans religiously spend an average of 40 minutes of their day, we will walk you through on the basics and how to target specific people on your Facebook ads. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Before we get started, we need to get to the Facebook ad creation first. You can easily do that by clicking the drop down menu beside the question mark icon on top. Then select create ads. It has been there the whole time and that is how easy to start creating ads. You will have an option to do a quick creation, which is a simplified way of creating an ad, but I don't recommend doing that. It is because of the ad that you'll be creating and the quick creation option doesn't target a specific audience that would make your ad be more effective. So choose your objective. Each objective is a little bit different from the other in setting up your Facebook ad. All of them are self-explanatory and since we all wanted sales, then let us select conversions. Name your campaign and click the Setup Ad Account button. Set up your currency and the time zone and click the Continue button. Name your ad, select your conversion. Since the checkout is going to take place in my website, then I will be selecting website. Set up your offer. I recommend in creating one because this is the one that catches the eye of your potential customers. You can easily drive more conversions by creating an offer people can save and get reminders about. The next one is target audiences. Now the first is custom audiences. This setup is for customers who already know you. They may have visited your website or click one of your ads before. They may also have used your app or engaged in one of your events or probably have visited your store. If you want to retarget them, then they can set them up here. Location. This is the address on where you want to target your audiences. If you have a local store, then you can just use this. Just input your address on the field and you can set it up in a way that you'll reach people around your area in a certain mile radius. Age, gender, and languages are pretty self-explanatory, but I recommend that you do a thorough research on the demographics. Like, you don't want to show a kid an ad for a tractor or whatsoever. Detailed targeting. This is where you can target audiences who have certain interest, hobby, behavior, or job. On this example, I want to sell drones, then I need to target someone who does videography or anything in video creation. You also have the option to exclude people or narrow audiences. Just specify the interest or a certain behavior that you want to exclude. Connection. It is up to you if you would want to retarget people who already know you or exclude them from this ad. You can also save this audiences for your future ad by clicking the Save Audiences button. Placements. This is where you can customize on where your ad will show up. For automatic placements, uh, you can select automatic placement and let Facebook detect and decide on where they will place the ads. If you're really not sure on where you wanted to place them, then you can just select this option. For the added placement option, 
This is where you can specify where you want to show your ad. You can select the device if this is going to be on a mobile or on a desktop. On the desktop, you can also specify on what operating system and on what brand they are using. On this example, I'll select mobile only. Specify the platform and where you want the ad to be shown. Select the type of mobile. It can be Android, iOS, or both. What I really love about this is that you can specify a type of device on where this is shown. I know it sounds creepy, but this is where it's most effective. If you're selling a casing for S9 Plus or your app will only work on a certain device, then specify it under Include Device field. You can even specify the operating system version of the device. I recommend that you place a check on only when connected to Wi-Fi. The reason behind this is that if they're using their mobile data, then they might be driving or out for a walk or doing something else and doesn't have the time to view your ad. You will definitely save money just by clicking this checkbox. Set up your budget and schedule. It can be a daily budget or a lifetime budget. The money that you spend here won't matter that much as long as you have set up your audience targeting and placement correctly. You can be sure that your money is well spent. The next page is the ad visuals. Choose your ad format. It can be a carousel, single image, or a single video or a slideshow. Set up the link on your website and specify the description of your ad. You can either view this how it appears on mobile or on desktop. Once you're done setting this up, click confirm and it will take you to the payment section. Pay for it and you're done. And this, ladies and gents, are the steps on how to target audiences in Facebook ads. Research on your audience demographics for targeting the right audience is very crucial. I recommend that you put in more time for this. This is to ensure that your ad is going to be more effective and it brings a lot of conversions for your product. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon.